Good evening, guys. It's been a very long day and a half for me at this point, uh, but I wanted to share with you a little bit of news. I was going to do it on the other camera, but it would take a little while to set up, and uh, just, like I said, very quick, a little bit of info here. Uh, if we we'll look over here, you see I do have the MacBook Pro. Let me go ahead and switch it to macro mode so you can probably see. We are running, if you can't tell, Ubuntu 11.04. Uh, this was actually pretty quick and easy to set up, thanks to Elmol3, that's Luke. If you want to check out his channel, definitely go ahead and do so. Uh, basically, what I ended up doing was I went into the Mac OS, I went into Boot Camp, and told it to resize the existing hard drive to make room for it. But I didn't go any further than that. Once the partitioning was done, I loaded up the Ubuntu 11.04 live disk. Uh, I went into the installation process, I created the partitions I needed, and in this case it was just a root partition and swap and did the installation and I was good to go. Out of the box the multi-touch uh, trackpad here is working and working very well. I had to make one change, one little change to make the, uh, sorry I've got Caden Live actually installing at this point. I had to make one change to make the multi-touch work correctly so I could scroll with two fingers. See I'm using two fingers scrolling. Uh, but other than that the uh, U-touch stuff that they created, the three finger sliding around works very very nicely as you see there. Um, there's a four finger touch that's supposed to work but is not working for me. I think you're supposed to be able to do four fingers and scroll up and the launcher will go away or something. Four finger click will bring the dash out. It's not doing that. Hey it did. Huh. Surprising. So four fingers click. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so far though the only thing that did not work out of the box was the wireless because it's Broadcom and because it's too new. But as you can probably see there, and I'm going to switch back here as a little click, I am running. Uh, I've got my wireless network showing up there and all the wireless networks in my neighborhood. Uh, it is running. It's running okay. My connection speed is not the best in the world, but I think that's more a Broadcom thing than not. I had to install Indus Wrapper and use the Windows driver to get it working. That's just the way that it is recommended to do through the Ubuntu forums and the Ubuntu wiki. But other than that, so far Ubuntu has been running decently well, not as well as I would expect. Uh, having used 11.04 before, I'm going to go ahead and try out the GNOME 2, the GNOME Classic interface, and just see how it works out. Uh, you see, if I click the dash, it does work. I can start typing, and it does work. There has been a little bit of delay every now and again using that, but uh, it seems to be working okay. If I go to Applications again, I can look through the apps. Sorry, I would be screencasting this, but I thought it was best to make sure you could see it actually is running on the Mac. Uh, I do still, of course, have the Mac OS running on here as well but I do intend to spend as much time as possible in Ubuntu and just have that Mac OS available for if I need it for some reason or another. I mean, if I want to use Mac software, it's now an option, it's now available. Uh, to be quite honest, li like I said, I did want the ability to run some Mac software. I'm going to turn around now. Uh, I did want the ability to run some Mac software in case. Uh, GarageBand would be very useful for making music, for example. LMMS is a great product, but my keyboard, my piano, works with it, kind of, but not entirely. I believe it works completely and 100% with GarageBand out of the box, and GarageBand came free with Mac. Uh, however, like I said, I'm going to be spending most of the time in Ubuntu, going to still be doing all of the videos in uh, in Arch or Ubuntu using Caden Live. Um, I'm going to try to learn Blender, going to, you know, there, there's a lot of Linux in my future here. I'm not switching, I'm not converting or anything just opening up doors for the future because uh, I don't like, well, okay, I, I have tied myself to 1OS as a 100% fanboy, almost a zealot for a long time, uh, ignoring any potential issues that might arise. Uh, a lot of people have had issues with Caden Live in the past. I've had a really good experience with it, but it is by no means perfect. So for a quick video, um, the, the stuff coming out of my T2i in Caden Live does not edit smoothly. I ran it through iMovie very quickly. It edited very quickly, very easily. No stuttering, no problems. Um, not, not intending to start using iMovie or anything because it's, it's not a product I'm a huge fan of. I don't like the interface, but uh, it is nice to have it as an option. If I needed to make a quick video, I could. Um, anyway, I'm going off on a lot of really odd tangents here. Um, I've just there's been so much anger, I guess, building up in the last day or so. Sorry, I am doing this handheld, and I don't have a wide-angle lens at the moment, so um, you're probably seeing a lot of this. <laughs> but uh, there's just been so much anger in the comments, and I, I really wish there was something I could do to, to allay a lot of the fears, to maybe, I don't know, address the issues. Um, 
what do you guys think of the idea of doing a live stream where I can just talk one on one? Well, not one on one, but one on a, a few of you uh, to to address any issues you might might be concerned with. To just talk it over. I mean, I used to do live streaming all the time, and I was thinking of doing one today, but I've exhausted again. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Uh, like I said, Ubuntu running admirably on here. Not running amazingly well or anything, but it is running. Uh, and I'm sure with some tweaks and with some performance tweaks, maybe going to the classic GNOME interface, I will get some better performance out of it. But I think that's about all for now. Just wanted to do a quick update that has very quickly turned into a seven or eight minute video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will probably be editing this in CadenLive 0.8 on the Mac just to see how it works out. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.